Yo, 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 Vandy Band students. This is Mr. Davis coming to you in the third part of our series. As you can see, I'm wearing my cool shades. My hat is cool. And I'm actually even wearing my alumni band shirt from Glenville State College because I'm cool like that. And this third video is a cool video about the cool saxophone. It's cool, smooth, and jazzy. So I thought I'd come to you all cool, smooth, and jazzy this morning. Here, let me show you the saxophone on the woodwind page. I won't mess it up today. Actually take these shade, cool shades off now. But you can see there are multiple types of saxophones. I'm gonna use multiple hands here. Look at this, multiple. We have the alto, the tenor, the berry sax. So we have three on this page, but there's multiple types of sax. There's even a soprano saxophone. It's not used as much, but it is out there. But here is a multiple saxophone. So I have multiple hands to show you that. So the smaller the instrument, alto smallest, buries the biggest. So the smaller the instrument, the higher the sound, the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound, right? So even soprano would be up higher, right? Kenny G plays that. So if you wanna look up some videos on Kenny G, you can do soprano sax. But you can also look up jazz and all kinds of different things on all the different saxophones and hear different, even in some of our pop artists and artists out there, they have bands that use the saxophones. Remember, saxophone is not in the orchestra. They do not use this sound in the orchestra. So saxophones are only in like bands and jazz bands and things like that. So you can look up saxophone sounds when we get over with this series. Okay, so... I'm talking about multiple things here. Okay, so we're gonna look at some horns here, some early horns. You can see the Bassette horn, this really curved one right there. That curved one is the Bassette horn in the late 18th century. And then here's a second Bassette horn in the late 18th century. So that's 1700s, so the end of the 1700s. We also have another I know we're talking about saxophone here, but there was a early uh, bass clarinet here. So there's just some different instruments that they have on this page. And this was an early bass clarinet in Italy in the early 1800s. And Metropolitan Museum in New York is they have a, um, an instrument there in that museum. Uh, and then over here is a clarinet amour, clarinet de amour. It's from Belgium in the early uh, early 1800s, sorry. And the instrument is having an instrument museum in Brussels in Belgium there. Okay, you can look down here and they have also some bassette horns. I know we talked about clarinet yesterday, but it has another page here, but it's good to uh, know where some of these instruments came from because you can see how uh, instruments change and evolve as time goes on and they get better. Uh, that's why we have the instruments that we do have now because they stay in tune better and they like those sounds that it gives. But it, on the left, there's a Bisset horn. Uh, they were from the 18th to the 20th centuries. So from the 1700s all the way to the 1900s. Um, so there's some revived um, players playing the Bisset horn. Uh, so I don't know if you can find those out there anywhere, but that would be kind of cool. So these are all single reed instruments just like clarinet all the saxophones are all single reed instruments so on the right is a um terogato okay a terogato um and it was used in, in a in a richard wagner piece and let's see if we can uh, you can kind of i can't really zoom in on that but uh you could look that up maybe and, and find that but it was in 1865 a richard wagner piece uh has Tristan in there, but anyway, um, it was uh, the Heckel Clarina. The Heckel Clarina, well, that's a funny word. Heckel Clarina was invented for the same production. So we have over here on the saxophone page. Oh, let me show you this real quick. Can you see those there? They got the sickle shaped type of ones that kind of started. And then you have angled ones. Imagine having that. That'd be crazy. Some angled. And 
the Bizet horn was invented in Bavaria in 1770. It appears in the music of Mozart and Richard Strauss, um, which I in uh, Vienna, Austria, right? Both of those are Austrian composers. Um, so this kind of goes with the clarinet things, but we can uh, at least, like I said, know. And soon most of these, you know, serious musicians and then these instruments eventually uh, became kind of obsolete. So you can see a few of them playing that. I even like, I look at the modern guy and then the guy from the Baroque and classical period. It's so crazy. More of, the, more of the classical period, but. All right, so then we have saxophone. Like I said, remember we have those multiple types, multiple types of saxophone. So we're gonna go over here and, and learn a little bit about the saxophones. Saxophones are cla classified with the clarinets. So you can see that, it kind of gets shadows and all that going on. But saxophones are classified uh, with the clarinets and their single reed family, of course, but they're a hybrid of the clarinet and the oboe. Um, like the clarinet, the saxophone has a single reed attached to a beak to mouthpiece, it says on here, but it's conical uh, tube and flared bell are more typical of the oboe family. So it's kind of a hybrid between the clarinet and the oboe. It was also invented in 1840 by Adolf Sax, a Belgium instrument maker. That's good to know, because that saxophone comes from that, uh, his name, Adolf Sax. I can turn that around right here. Maybe you can see it, Adolf Sax in there, or maybe, kind of, sort of. Um, but uh, he was working in Paris, France. Sax's original family of saxophones comprised of 14 members of saxophone, but only eight of these are normally made today. These eight are, starting with the smallest, the sopranino, soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, bass, contrabass, and subcontrabass. Those would be great to like look up those eight different types, because uh, we see four, and that's the kind of four that only the soprano, alto, tenor, bari, uh, or baritone, um, are widely used. So that's pretty cool to know that there's actually eight out there, started with 14, and then uh, went down to the, you know, four that we mainly see today. Saxophones are members of like dance bands, military bands, and uh, all kinds of like jazz bands, things like that. They may play a distinctive like orchestral work solo. So you might see them, that's the only way you would see them in the orchestra. Um, let me show you, uh, it shows you a few pictures here of the saxophone. So let's take a look together. So you can see the soprano sax is on the right. Um, then it gives you, let me see, soprano sax, yeah, it's on the right. Um, the other one looks to be a tenor saxophone. It shows you a little player down there. All of our saxophone players, and cool, smooth, and jazzy, right? And then there's an octavian instrument here, really weird one. The octavian is an unusual wood wood instrument uh, that resembles the saxophone, clarinet, and bassoon. It was made in Germany in 1894, and it's a complicated instrument, but it has a reedy tone similar to the soprano saxophone. And you can kind of see it gives you a diagram. At the top, uh, the hybrid nature of the saxophone, single reed clarinet with the conical or cone shape uh, like the oboe family. So the saxophone gives us a lot of different things and great versatility in the, in the saxophones. Um, there are things about double reeds, but maybe we'll get into that at some point in this series. So I just think that was cool on the, on the saxophone today. So you have fun today. You see, I actually have two of these now. I found one that has, which is my daughter's. They bought this at their school store before all this happened, but one point, uh, gummy bears. And this one's my son, of course, just regular. So anyway, 
stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll come back to you with another video at some point. Uh, I'm trying to post these on Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, of each week, so I'll be looking for these videos as they come. Uh, like I said, you can respond to things. Um, we talked about clarinet yesterday, so if you could uh, send me, um, let me think here, if you could send me a message, live grades message or a Microsoft email talking to me about uh, clarinet, why don't you tell me the, uh, we had six, six different types of clarinets. Go back to that clarinet video, find the six different types that I talked about in there. And send me a live grades message, uh, um, 365 email about clarinet, uh, some cool things that you learned. Thanks, see you guys later. Love and miss you.